people are aspiring to have a high level of functionality, whether they are 20 years old, 15 years old, or 80 years old. And we know that um, if we can bring together those specialties, those clinical specialties, to care for patients with complex musculoskeletal problems, the chance of preserving, the opportunity of increasing their functionality uh, uh, as human beings with complex issues increases. You have a complex system, the musculoskeletal system, and our understanding of it is expanding exponentially in part based on technology that's uh, uh, developed over the past five decades. So now there's really no one doctor, there's no one physical therapist, there's no one uh, subspecialist who can understand the whole system. So it takes a team, it takes a team to take care of these folks. The center puts the team in one place, oftentimes in the same room, and the patient is in the center of the room. Patients are individuals. They're not numbers, they're not diagnoses. They have individual needs, and sometimes those needs may be encompassing uh, a number of different specialties. We are going to be uh, working in a team-based environment. This will enable our providers and staff and physicians and the patients uh, to work together in a very different collaborative and innovative way. We're bringing together orthopedics, neurology, neurosurgery, podiatry, physiatry, rheumatology, rehab services, and alternative medicine services all in one location. Well, one thing we have is a triage system that allows us to um, direct our patients to the right provider at the right time for the right kind of care. We tend to draw patients from far away sometimes, you know, patients that are coming from an hour, hour and a half, two hours away, that may come for a 15 minute appointment and may have to come the next day to another appointment or two weeks later to another appointment. This type of situation may allow them to come and to see multiple specialties in a row. One call, where previously there might have been a multitude of different calls, and coordinating your own care can be burdensome. What you're trying to do is get the most out of every visit with a patient. By having a center that places services under one roof, what you're able to do is align yourself with the other providers to make the most out of every visit rather than trying to navigate those barriers. Well, I think it's all about patient care and you really need to be able to have uh, the ability to treat things that are outside of your subspecialty. We have the benefit of having a lot of subspecialty trained physicians and so when we get them all into one area, we really have a highly effective uh, a treatment facility and the musculoskeletal center really brings all those people together in one roof. I work very closely with occupational therapists and having the hand therapist in the same location is extremely beneficial to myself and to the patients. I'd be able to run upstairs to uh, assist with a splint with Dr. Peelman, uh, perhaps run over to consult with the uh, rheumatologist uh, on a patient who has arthritis. We could just walk down the hall and speak with one another in person and it kind of creates a much more, I think, personalized experience for a patient. We may be able to see patients together, discuss cases, bounce ideas off of each other, come up with a treatment plan for the patient. This is not to make things faster, it's to make things better. One of the other things that's going to be innovative about this center is for patients who are injured at work. Um, one of the biggest stressors for these patients is once they've been injured and they need a procedure done, whether it's surgery or physical therapy, um, when are they going to be able to get back to work? Will their place of work accommodate their needs? And what we will be offering is a one-stop destination for them to be able to have all that done, whether it's their paperwork or their, the communication between the physician, the therapist, the nurse case managers, to make sure that that is as smooth as possible. You know, Extra Hospital Core Physicians has attracted really highly trained specialists because this is where they want to be. This is where they want to live. This is the community that they want to take care of. And so now we say, well, if we're all here and we're all doing these sophisticated musculoskeletal care approaches, and we have excellent outcomes, why not all get together and do it together in one place? The size of our practice and the breadth of the community that we service has gotten to the point where it really calls for uh, a dedicated center. Having my colleagues all within walking distance in the hallways to consult with, that's going to provide a level of care that I don't think we have anywhere else in the Seacoast. And if a patient can come in and have their problem taken care of in one visit, 
they have a lot of other things to be doing other than going to doctor's appointments and hopefully we can get them on the way and feeling better quickly. This is a journey we're on. Uh, it has taken us an enor enormous amount of work to get this far. We have probably spent two years in the design and redesign of our process, our teams, uh, our flows, uh, the way the rooms should be organized, checking back with the patients to make sure that we're still understanding and the patients are still participating. And I anticipate as we go forward, we will continue to put the same level of investment. It's not just about the bricks and mortar. Uh, it's about the services that we're bringing for these patients. It's not really about the building. It's about creating the opportunity for people to come together and have a total view of a patient, of a community member. So the Future for Exeter uh, Health Resources and its affiliates, I think, is extraordinarily vibrant uh, and promising. As an organization, to fulfill that promise, we need to be adaptable, we need to be innovative, and we need to be collaborative. And the Musculoskeletal Center is an example of that.